Yovelim Jubilees 49. Remember the commandment which Yahuwah commanded you concerning the Pikach, that you should celebrate it in its season on the 14th of the first month, that you should kill it before it is evening, and that they should eat it by night on the evening of the 15th from the time of the setting of the sun. For on this night, the beginning of the feast and the beginning of the joy, ye were eating the Pekach in Mitzrayim, when all the powers of Mastema had been let loose to slay all the firstborn in the land of Mitzrayim, from the firstborn of Pharaoh to the firstborn of the captive maidservant in the mill and to the cattle. And this is the sign which Yahuwah gave them into every house on the lintels on which they saw the blood of a lamb of the first year. Into that house they should not enter to slay, but should pass by it, that all those should be saved that were in the house, because the sign of the blood was on its lintels. And the powers of Yahuwah did everything according as Yahuwah commanded them. And they passed by all the children of Yashadael. And the plague came not upon them to destroy from amongst them any soul, either of cattle or man or dog. And the plague was very grievous in Mitzrayim. And there was no house in Mitzrayim where there was not one dead and weeping and lamentation. And all Yashara'el was eating the flesh of the Pikach lamb and drinking the wine and was lauding and blessing and giving thanks to Yahuwah Elohim of their fathers and was ready to go forth from under the yoke of Mitzrayim and from the evil bondage. And remember you this day all the days of your life and observe it from year to year all the days of your life once a year, on its day, according to all the Torah thereof, and do not adjourn it from day to day or from month to month, for it is an eternal ordinance, and engraven on the heavenly tablets regarding all the children of Yashara'el, that they should observe it every year, on its day, once a year, throughout all, their generations, and there is no limit of days, for this is ordained forever. And the man who is free from uncleanness and does not come to observe it on occasion of its day, so as to bring an acceptable offering before Yahuwah, and to eat and to drink before Yahuwah on the day of its feast, that man who is clean and close at hand shall be cut off, because he offered not the oblation of Yahuwah in its appointed season, but he shall take the guilt upon himself. Let the children of Yashara'el come and observe the feast of Pikach on the day of its fixed time, on the fourteenth day of the first month, between the evenings, from the third part of the day to the third part of the night, for two portions of the day are given to the light and a third part to the evening. This is that which Yahuwah commanded you, that you should observe it between the evenings. And it is not permissible to slay it during any period of the light, but during the period bordering on the evening, and let them eat it at the time of the evening, until the third part of the night. And whatsoever is left over of all its flesh from the third part of the night and onwards, 
let them burn it with fire. And they shall not cook it with water, nor shall they eat it raw, but roast on the fire. They shall eat it with diligence, its head with the inwards thereof, and its feet they shall roast with the fire, and not break any bone thereof. For of the children of Yashadael no bone shall be crushed. For this reason Yahuwah commanded the children of Yashadael to observe the Pikach on the day of its fixed time. And they shall not break a bone thereof, for it is a feast day and a day commanded. And there may be no passing over from day to day and month to month, but on the day of its feast let it be observed. And do you command the children of Yashadael to observe the Pikach throughout their days, every year, once a year, on the day of its of its fixed time, and it shall come for a memorial well-pleasing before Yahuwah, and no plague shall come upon them to slay or to smite in that year in which they celebrate the Pikach in its season, in every respect according to his command. And they shall not eat it outside the sanctuary of Yahuwah, but before the sanctuary of Yahuwah. And all the people of the assembly of Yashadael shall celebrate it in its appointed season. And every man who has come upon its day shall eat it in the sanctuary of your Elohim before Yahuwah from twenty years old and upward. For thus it is written, writ, rather written and ordained, that they should eat it in the sanctuary of Yahuwah. And when the children of Yashadael come into the land which they are to possess, into the land of Canaan, and set up the tabernacle of Yahuwah in the midst of the land in one of their tribes until the sanctuary of Yahuwah has been built in the land. Let them come and celebrate the Pikach in the midst of the tabernacle of Yahuwah and let them slay it before Yahuwah from year to year. And in the days when the house has been built in the name of Yahuwah, in the land of their inheritance, they shall go there and slay the Pikach in the evening at sunset, at the third part of the day. And they shall offer its blood on the threshold of the altar and shall place its fat on the fire which is upon the altar, and they shall eat its flesh, roasted with fire in the court of the house which has been sanctified in the name of Yahuwah. And they may not celebrate the Pikach in their cities, nor in any place, save before the tabernacle of Yahuwah, or before his house where his name is dwelt and they shall not go astray from Yahuwah. And do you, Moshe, command the children of Yashadael to observe the ordinances of the Pikach as it was commanded unto you. Declare you unto them every year and the days of its days and the feats of Mats, rather the feast of Matzah, that they should eat Matzah seven days and that they should observe its feast, and that they bring an oblation every day during those seven days of joy before Yahuwah on the altar of your Elohim. For ye celebrated this feast with haste when ye went forth from Mitzrayim till ye entered into the wilderness of Shur, for on the shore of the sea Ye completed it.